get out there and get some snakey wakeys. Maybe there's something down there. I'm gonna venture to say it's a snakehead. Did you miss one? Oh no. I'm using a swim bait in some unlikely spots. You need the best place, but. Something swimming. That's for sure. Yeah, there's something to blow up. Well, there's something. Something just swam out. Oh, not in the tree. Oh, in the tree. And now it's out of the tree. Come on now. Focus. There we go. It's about this spot right there. Oh, I had one. Well, give me another shot, man. Toast pool. Where are you at? There you are, my friend. Oh, that's not you. That's something else. That is a freaking log or something. Yeah, that's not what I want. Five minutes for that. Another one. Something under there. Got one. Stay back. Stay back. That's a good place. You're saying back up. I can't. He's tied. Get grippers. Get your grippers. You better help, you got him. That's a big one. Hey, thank you for gripping my sneakers. So that was pretty interesting for sure. Um, I don't know how much of a technique it is, but um, I'll call it fish in the bubbles. So on the top of the duckweed in the water, you see little bubbles coming up here and there. And what I was doing was I was using swim bait that I had tied on earlier for bass. Just figured, what the hell, I'll just uh, throw it through there and see what happens. So I was fishing the bubbles. I was doing top, nothing. A few uh, fish look like they got spooked maybe, not really coming at it or anything. So when I got up to the bubbles, I just dropped it in there. And I dropped it in the bubbles and I got a snakehead, so it worked. So I don't know.
maybe something new, maybe something old. But I notice a lot of times when I do top water and there's short strikes, if I let the lure sink, they take it. So it was pretty sweet. Nice snakehead. I'll take it. So.